Welcome back, ladies. May God bless you all. As we live in these end times, God is always admonishing us and making sure that we are prepared for the rapture. And so this advice today, I believe, is coming at the right time to bless our single sisters. You know, growing up, we used to hear some advice that keep yourself chaste, keep yourself from the person that you are going to marry. Don't sleep with the person that you are going to marry. Because if you don't sleep with this person, he's going to hold you in high esteem for the whole time you spend together in marriage. And this advice is a very good advice that now if you go and tell many singles, especially the youth, they are going to laugh at you because who is a virgin these days? Who is not sleeping around? They will laugh at you, but God wants his children to be different from the world. Even though the world is corrupt, God still has a very high standard for his children. And he does not expect us to compromise for anything. Let's look at Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 7. I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the rose and by the hinds of the field, that ye stir not up, nor awake my love till he please. That ye stir not up, nor awake my love till he please. She was telling the daughters of Jerusalem that she does not want any intimacy to occur until the situation is appropriate that is until she and solomon are married and so this lady was telling the the daughters of jerusalem that please do not quest me or don't give me bad advice that i should go and sleep with this man that you know because this kind of advice is all around us they make mockery of the virgins and say if you don't sleep with a man you are going to develop this sickness you are going to have this you are going to have that so the pressure is all around and you might think that let me just give in but sister you are a child of god you are a child of god you cannot conform to the world and the things that the world is doing. You see, the Shunammite woman was professing her love for Solomon and telling um, the daughters of Jerusalem to leave her alone until the right time. At the right time, she and Solomon, when they are married, when they are now um, husband and wife, then she will give herself to Solomon. That lady was a very beautiful lady. When you read the songs of Solomon and see what Solomon was saying about her, how he was describing her, you can see that that lady was a very beautiful lady, a very pleasant one. Not one that was frowning, but a very lovely lady. Let's see what Solomon said about her on their wedding night. Let's read Song of Solomon chapter 4, verse 12. A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse. You see now, he is calling her my spouse because they were married. A spring shut up, a fountain sealed. Can you see the figure of speech? that he is using here three figures of speech that he is using like i don't know if it's a proverb but it's something that you should sit down to digest and understand he is describing this lady on their first night what he found out when they finally came together as husband and wife to consummate the marriage 
what he found out was she was a garden enclosed. Are you getting it? She was a spring shut up and she was a fountain sealed. It means that she was a virgin. No one had known her as the Bible put it. And so this is just an encouragement to our single ladies that though the world seems to be so corrupt, like everyone is into sexual immorality, but that does not mean that you cannot please God by keeping your virginity. That does not mean that you cannot make your father in heaven proud of you and cheer you on in heaven and say, that is my girl. You can do it. Though everyone else is turning aside, my single sisters, please keep your virginity. And if you are not a virgin, maybe you have your own testimony. The Lord has now touched you and has made you a chaste virgin to himself. Because those things are passed away. Now you are a bride of Christ. He sees you as a chaste virgin. Keep it that way. Don't allow this person that has come and saying, I want to marry you. Please, I want to see what I'm going to marry. If you love me, just show something because I really, truly want to marry you. And probably he has gone to your family, okay? So your family, everybody knows he is coming to marry you. They know of his intention. Still don't give yourself to him because it's going to be a sin before God which is called fornication and also he is going to lose interest in you. That advice that they used to, to give us that your husband is going to value you, hold you in high esteem is a true advice and that is the mystery of this thing that God has kept only for the married. That is the mystery. And it will never be right if we break the laws of God and do it in our own way. I heard a story that a man of God said. He said that a man was going to marry a woman and both of them were in holiness. If someone is in holiness, it means that this person has heard the full gospel. Do not sleep around. You know, this person is not going by one save, forever save, and they are messing themselves up in sin, thinking they are going to, to, to heaven. Someone in holiness is a born again person that takes the word of God seriously. And so the man and the woman both were in Christ. But the man just thought like, let me just test the woman that I'm going to marry. Is she one that is going to hold on to her conviction to the end? Or is she going to give, give, give up? Is she going to get tired in the way? Is she going to endure or is she going to draw back? And so this man started giving the lady pressure. You know, can we, can we, you know, enjoy ourselves? You know, I'm going to marry you and those things. I will marry you. That is my intention. The lady said, no, 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 I won't. And this man kept on and kept on and kept on until she says, okay. And the man says, really? So you could not endure to the end. Marriage is over. And that is how? He cancelled the marriage. So this is an advice to you, my sister. He might not cancel the marriage. He might still marry you, but you have sinned against God. What if the rapture happens? And don't say that I'm going to do it and then repent. That thought that I will do it and repent is a sinful thought. You cannot test God. And so may the Lord bless you. And may God give you your heart desire. Somebody 
who is after the heart of God, a man that is going to help you to stand in Christianity, the man that will lead you into heaven. May the Lord grant that to you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen.